OK, then if I'm going to write the output from each line, I will see that which case suppose my y3 is 1, just in the case of x8 and x9. Then simply I can write the equation as a y3, y2, and uh, y1 as it represented in this uh, format that I show. And then I will see that just I have the uh, or between the inputs as illustrated in the figure that I show. Uh, it should be noted that inputs of X0 is not connected to an output, as you will see. This gives rise to some following problem for the seeker. How uh, does not differentiate between X0 being activated and no inputs being activated? Because we don't have any case that X0 is one. That might be the, then some problem for us. What I'm talking, it's, it's related to this. You will see that in none of the case, X0 is one then it may have the problem. The most straightforward modification for these circuits that I show here is that some logical or of 10 inputs and pass that signal as the key press signal means that if you want to know the real situation for the key, we need some key press, which in any case that First of all, we should say that any inputs coming or not. And we should mention this only to show the some application must handle in this case. Uh, then this circuit itself may have some problem because now we don't know that any person pressed the key or not. There is also some other issue with that, that what do we, what to do if two or more inputs we press at the time. Suppose uh, for playing encoder, the output is always correct. For example, uh, in the circuit that I shows the input X3 and XY will active would be X Y3, Y2, Y1, and uh, Y0, which is equal to one. Priority encoder also, then this is the key that can solve the question that we have. Uh, by that, we are designed to avoid the problem of multiple inputs by implementing uh, the a priority order on the inputs and producing the output for the inputs that has priority. For example, if I have 32 to five uh, priority encoder, which uh, having the inputs of 80 and 29 active module produce either the binary code of 10010 for 80 and for 29, one 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 zero one depending on the priority policy and do not output of one 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 that play in the encoder what i try to say that to solve and having the better design next step is that having the priority between the inputs that we will talk more and maybe solve question based on that the other terms that we discuss was decoder then in the decoder we are going to open the code means that we are going to translate the code that we have before time and wants to say that um, Suppose if we have the n input, then our output is 2 power by n, 
and uh, something like uh, exactly opposite for the encoder. And uh, then we may consider some reverse logic that they have. It means that in this case now, we have four input and 16 as the output with the output which are labeled as the Z, Z0 to Z50. Then C or suppose we have some inputs like I3 is one, I2 is zero, and I1 is zero, and I0 is one. Some binary codes like one, zero, zero, one. Then the output Z9 is active and the outer output are not active for us. Again, the main exception is n to two power by n. Uh, for decoder is four to ten decoder, which is common circuits. And note that it takes four bits to encode the ten digits, as three bits will encode only eight. Then we prefer to use four to sixteen decoder and ignore some of the output, but this uh, author does not uh, establish the commercial practice. The main advantage that we can see for uh, four to 10 decoder chips would be six fewer pin that six to six to four to 16 decoder and a 16 pin is standard and cheaper for manufacturer to have the 22. Uh, let us see, suppose the decoder that uh, we assume it's based on uh, association of the binary number to decimal as it's shown in the figure. And since uh, three to eight decoder, we have three inputs which are labeled by x2, x1, and x0, and eight output label y, y0 to y1 and y0. The observation that leads to the design of the decoder is the obvious one that uh, the value of x2 to x1 determine the output selection. For this part of uh, discussion, we will ignore the uh, enable inputs. Then simply we can have Three to eight active high encoder that I show them based on the table and uh, as you will see here, these are uh, the inputs and relation between them and we will show with them. Um, let us review once more. What is the decoder? As we say that we have n inputs and two power by n uh, output, two to four, three to eight, and four to 16 are the type of the decoder that we are seeing. We are working in that. And as we know that it's going to map, the encoder that we expected, it should have something like this, yeah. some output like this, based on the input and to see that our, in, our encoder, it should work or no, something like starting part, we have the enable key, which whenever enable is not pressed or it's not activated to the voltage, the output will be nothing. But whenever first we press the inputs or enable pin, then the inputs can be injected to our circuits and then we can see the result as it's shown in the figure that I shown for you. Let us see the variety of the decoder. Suppose two to four decoder. Two means the number of inputs and four means the number of output. And obviously we have some enable pin or some starting key starting part, which represent the uh, working or not working of our circuits. 
I want to show with the table, I can see, uh, show it like this. Which, if you focus on the enable pin, whenever it's one, then we will go to see the inputs. Otherwise, whenever it's zero, all the keys will become those here. And also output is con continuously it's zero. Notice that uh, in your mind that uh, decoder with the help of the enable, it's something like switch that you will use for your car. And before starting your car, it will not move. and It will not uh, have any effect. Whatever you are doing in your car, before starting the car, you don't have any move for the machine. But whenever you start the car and then do something, then you will see the action based on your work. Remember this. Uh, anyway, as I said, the decoder symbols also, it's something like this, which with the gate of enable, we will show like this, A and B as the inputs, and this is uh, like uh, the output. But what is this bullet here? It will show that your encoder is active to the high or active to the low, okay? Uh, as I tell you before, when we learn the gate, we said that whenever we put this bullet or this circuit, it means that uh, we are uh, having some not gate. Okay, then it might be active um, low. This I will tell you. Also, I written the name of the uh, ICs here that maybe you can use it with the help of the protus. Okay. Then what we have, we have the two inputs of A and B as it represents here and output of Y0 to Y1, Y2, and Y3. What is nice here that we have the reverse logic for the output also because we have this bullet which uh, will represent the nature of uh, output that uh, it means that whatever one that you will see here it's use the not gate and whatever zero that you will see have the same is again not gate uh, have this in your mind we will talk suppose if i want to tell you the internal circuits of another decoder seven four one three nine the internal circuit is consist of the mentioned figure here and uh, again suppose three to eight decoder is three inputs and eight output which represent the acting of that anyway let us uh, see what is exactly decoder and encoder if we want to little bit compare them and uh, say the difference between them uh, we can say that uh, they are represented with this shape this is decoder and this is encoder difference is that in decoder you have limited inputs and more output and vice versa in the encoder in the other way you have n inputs and two power by n as the output of the decoder and if you have two power by the n as the inputs of the encoder, you have the n output as the output. Then, uh, as the uh, output of the figure, then uh, we can have some true table like this, which represents the x, y, z as the inputs, and d0 to d7 as the output. And you will see that in any case, we just have one output for the decoder. Uh, on the other side, we have the encoder, which it has the more inputs and less output. And in any case, which uh, 
just one is one, we have the output representation from our sequence. Okay, well, uh, till now, uh, let us see what uh, we do. And um, till now, is there any question? Uh, anyway, two term I described. Another one is uh, the term that we call it multiplexer and demultiplexer. These two terms are very important in the sense that uh, we should work with them and know the uh, their specification and definition. What I try to put in this PPT is that I try to put more text for you than some simple text that when you read it, you can understand it, understand it very fast. The other things that I want you to do is that and there is some solved question that I will put there. Uh, solve question in the sense that uh, I solve it on the table and it should you should have the clip on the uh, mock system okay uh, I will tell you that how this task you should do because first you, you should learn how to solve and after that I will uh, put some tutorial for you that how to do this part little bit now we have some limitation for solving the question, but uh, I wish that with this method we can help to push the lecture. Anyway, what is multiplexer and demultiplexer uh, is the next part that I'm going to talk. A multiplexer has uh, some number of inputs, usually power of two, and number of control signal and output. On the other side, the demultiplexer has one input signal and number of control signals and a number of output, also usually power by two. We can consider this relation of two by n to one as the multiplexer and one to two power by n of the multiplexer. Then in the circuits here, I shows in the table, little bit table. I shows the difference between multiplexer and demultiplexer, which you can see. And the action of these circuits is um, determined by the control signal. In the sense that control signal having the critical rule for us to solve and um, to act. For multiplexer, the output is some selected inputs, and in demultiplexer, the input is routed to the selected uh, output. Um, we can have some figure like this, or as an example, we show the diagram for both of the multiplexer, as we showed with MUX, and demultiplexer, which we are showing with D E M U X here. You will see the difference. First difference is number of input and output, and uh, from control line maybe they are same. Note that each of the circuits has two control signal for multiplexer and the n control signal select which of the two rises n inputs will be passed to the output. For the multiplexer, the N can control signal, select which of the two N output will be connected to the uh, inputs. Maybe this figure will help you more to understand the multiplexer means uh, we can say that multiplexer is something like single pole multiposition 
as we showed here. And the switch has the multiple inputs as the D0 to D3, but it has only one output pin. And the control Control now for available data, and this data will be reflected on the uh, output side. This way, the user can select the required the signal among many available signals. Some basic of multiple XR can be something like this, which in multiple XR we have some input speed, some output pins, and some control signal that I mentioned before. You can read it here. And this is the explain of some mechanical multiplex. But really what we have in the electric, electronic circuits which involves the highest speed switching and the data transfer, uh, we should be able to select the required input very fast and using the digital signal. In the sense that in real life, if when the data come, we should have very fast control selection key that uh, guide the input to the output. And as you see, the control signal, which sometimes they call it S1 and S0, does exactly the same. They select one input of many available ones based on signal which is provided to, the, to them. Then, uh, so the three basic and bare minimum terms on any multiple XR will be inputs and input pin and output pins and code. See this figure, you will see that whenever the control signal, suppose in this figure, it's S1 and S0, uh, acting. We can have the um, input monitoring on uh, output, something like this. Uh, if again I want to say that the multiplexer, we can say it's represented as the boolean function of inputs and control signal and as an example we can consider the four input multiplexer uh, with control signal which are labeled as c1 and c0 and inputs which is labeled by i0 to i3 the output can be described as the true table, which is mentioned here. And uh, see that the true table is the abbreviation form of that. Um, that if I want to show the output, I can simply say that suppose my M is equal to C naught, C zero naught, multiplied by I zero and so on with the all output. If we show the multiplexer, we have something like this, some select one, some input, and sometimes we have some enable one. And the output, which is the data output. Some key like this can represent the same uh, figure of the enable, select, and input, and output that we have. Generally, as we say, the multiplexer can represent by two power by one minus a uh, two one device. And these two power by n inputs, uh, which uh, one of which is connected to the single output line, the n control line will be the determine uh, which, in, which input is connected to the out. Here, the circuits that I show to you is four to one multiplexer. And uh, note that the inputs are x0 to x3, and 
I1 to I3 and I0 is the equation which we mentioned before. One figure supposed to four by one multiplexer. It's simple that we have four input and one output. And on the other side is the two by one uh, multiplexer that, as you will see, the table uh, uh, I show here. This is the figure symbol as well as the true table of multiplexer that we will see. Let us see some more. Suppose two by one multiplexer, two means the number of inputs and y means number of output. And as we just see that uh, we have some enable, some control uh, key, which we call it S0 and uh, Whenever S0 is kept high, then the input D1 will be reflected on the output uh, pin. And the true table represents exactly this. But if you will see the case, which is S1 is 1, then you will see that it, the output is equal to the D1. And whenever S0 is equal to zero, it means that we have the output of D0. Then please compare and see that S0 will just something like switch. Whenever it's zero, it's just showing the output as the uh, D0 input. And whenever it's one, it's just showing the D1. Uh, as the output of our design. Uh, if I want to draw the output of this circuit, you can see here that I can design it with this type of the circuit, which we are going to solve some question based on that. And the output is exactly something like C naught D0 not multiplied by D1 plus S0 not dot D0 D1, S0 D0 and D1 not plus S0 D0 D1. And maybe we can simplify the <coughs> output function with the help of Boolean uh, algebra. And we can see that the output can be S0 dot dot uh, S0 naught dot D0 plus S0 dot D1. This can be the, the full form or the output of two inputs multiplex. Uh, can we have more than this? Yes, we can have four by one, even multiplexer, which uh, hmm, by the rule of two power two power by n, n as the number of inputs, we can have that, and we can again represent the output by that. See, four by one multiplexer is nothing but the figure that I show here for you, and in that we have four inputs and one output. Uh, mainly, it's combination of two. Uh, two by one multiplexer uh, and is that inside circuit something is like whatever I shown for you and uh, you can see uh, and maybe the true table can be something like this means that by selector S0 and S1 now you will see that what should be the output. The difference between two by one and four by one is like this. Um, means the number of control line or switching line, which will specify and guide the inputs and output. Maybe it will introduce the inputs and output together uh, with that.
As you can see, even in this table, each set of value provided the control signal or switch signal. We get the difference output from the input screen on our output field. Uh, this way we can use the max or multiplexer to select one among the available for input pin to work with. And normally these controls pin has S0 and S1 will be controlled automatically using the digital circuit. Uh, there are certain decided ICs which can act as MUX and make the job maybe easy for us. So maybe let us see what um, we have in real designing some ICs like 4052, which is uh, pin out based on the figure that I show. And it's always interesting to build and verify things, something uh, with, with the help of that practically which uh, the ICs that I tell you, it's four by one multiplexer. And uh, it's uh, uh, working with the pinouts that I shown here. Suppose pin number 16 is VCC, ESS, VE, as it's here. Maybe if we have lab, we can check the working principle of these ICs and see that how it will work in the future. Or maybe you can do the simulation like me in inside the Protoss uh, simulation. I will show you the performance chart you will see here. You can have the different inputs and then you will see the concern output based on that. Please have a look two, three minutes to this example that I sent for you with the movie. Please see. Different inputs can be a different output. Well, uh, I've written some descriptions, some practical description for you here that you can read it. Um, it's a little bit more than our course. My main aim of course, but it's exactly related to our course. I prefer that you know some even hardware connection and hardware principle and performance, which will help you more to understand this subject and maybe learn it better. Uh, even if really I want to have some connection, I can have these circuits as I written here for you. And uh, it will show the keys, which will select the inputs output and just one output as the LED is here. And this is exactly the real uh, hardware connection that we can um, maybe have in some project or in the lab, uh, which is help us to understand the marks uh, better. Um, also for maybe completing our job, I show you here what should be the output of your circuits and uh, some practical jobs that we have. Okay. That was the multiplexer. As we say, on the other side, we have the multiplexer. Uh, I'm going to finish even very soon. Maybe we just one slide regarding the multiplexer, because now you have the good background about multiplexer and demultiplexer. For demultiplexer, we are generally described by one to two riser N device. These multiplexer have one input which is connected to uh, one of two by N output line. And the N control line determine which of the output line is connected to the input. Here, uh, the circuits I show here, this is one to four, the multiplexer, which maybe they will 
person will call it active high because we don't have that bullet for that not case. Whenever we have that case, we call it active low. And uh, you will see that the multiplexer do not have the problem. Uh, something like unselected output and uh, multiplexer has only one output. Okay. Till now, what I tell you is about uh, it's from this circuit, this your books, and some uh, good link that I found. Now, what I want that uh, I will share some example. Some of them I solved last uh, year on the table, and our friends Roy helped us to have the movie. 